There we go. Hey everybody, it's Ryan Outdoors again, and I want to show you guys something that is uh, quite handy in wilderness survival. <laughs> so this is the uh, Quizar down sleeping bag. Um, as you can see, it uh, is quite compact. It is very light. Um, so this is uh, 3.43 pounds. Um, that's super light for a sleeping bag. It is uh, 84.6 by 31.5 inches, which is average size for a sleeping bag. Um, it's a down sleeping bag, which is awesome. So, uh, Quasar down sleeping bags can be used comfortably in a wide variety of environments, camping, a barbecue, car, uh, mountaineering, so hiking, um, outdoor and indoor. I, uh, will probably be using this in the winter time. Um, All right, so it's uh, rated for uh, the highest temperature before you're gonna be 41 sweating. degrees or five degrees Celsius, um, down to negative 12 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So it comes with a nice little compression sack, which I'm willing to bet I could actually get this to compress a bit more. Okay, that's actually cool. I like that design. That way you don't lose it. <laughs> I've done that before. Right. So, nice little drawstring. Um, here is another carrying bag. So that's actually cool because you can also use this for forging. Foraging. So, nice little handle there to pull it out. And, wow, this is... Uh, actually really soft so um, you definitely do want to leave this out for a bit to just kind of build its loft back but uh, yeah quite comfortable um, has a drawstring to uh, pull the hood even tighter around your face um, nice velcro to uh, keep the zipper. Oh, that's cool. So if you don't want that flapping around, you can just do that with it. So that's cool. The zipper works great. It actually looks like they uh, sewed this in here, which is some kind of a nylon. Um, so your zipper doesn't get caught because I have had that happen with uh, some very expensive sleeping bags where you're trying to zip it up and it gets caught on itself. I've actually ripped holes in them, uh, gotten the zipper stuck where it's just completely useless. I can't zip it up or zip it back down. So yeah, so that's really nice. are going to set this out and this is a mummy bag which mummy bags are absolutely the most warmest uh sleeping bags to have because it's just you're wrapped up in a cocoon so we will let this uh loft out a bit and oh that is actually something i just noticed and that is really cool so instead of actually zipping all the way down where you have to fight with it, um, the feet are completely uh, kind of their own little thing. So that is quite cool. So you can, if you wanted to, unzip this to allow uh, air to come in or whatever. But uh, <laughs> there actually has been times where uh, I have woken up and my feet were out of the sleeping bag. So this is actually awesome. So cool, I like that. And it has these little uh, 
tent stake things. So if you wanted to stake it down, uh, there does not appear to be any in the front, but there certainly is at the bottom, which is actually kind of nice. So we're going to let this uh, loft, and uh, I'll be back with you here shortly, and I'm going to jump inside. So, yeah, this is, uh, that zipper is smooth. Ah, mosquitoes. So, um, <laughs> as you guys know, I am, I am a big fella. And, uh, And the zipper does flip inside, so you can actually zip it up just fine. So, I might sound a little bit muffled, but uh, yeah, I fit in here just fine. Actually have plenty of room. This is really comfortable. I have more than enough room to uh, actually move around. And one thing I like about these peekaboo is uh, you can easily put a pillow in here with you. I did not bring a pillow, but yeah, this is actually big enough. I can come in here completely. So, yeah, I can close this down to uh, a super small space. Yeah, this is nice. So, yeah, if you're winter camping, this would be uh, ideal. And it's super duper soft inside. So, yeah, um, <laughs> actually, uh, I think that's going to be my new favorite sleeping bag. Very comfortable. Now, let's see how easy it is to get out, because I have had cheap mummy bags in the past and they were very difficult to get back out of. That wasn't the sleeping bag's fault, that was my fault. <laughs> So, again, like I was saying, the feet are kind of, uh, you know, the zipper ends right there. So, I mean, you could easily just keep your feet warm. Um, also, if you wanted to, I'm willing to bet. Yeah. Right on. So, yeah, this is a uh, great product. Um, definitely be using this in the winter. I love this right here. I love that. It, uh, completely keeps the zipper from, uh, getting snaggled or snagged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quite warm. It is, uh, it, it's quite warm out, <laughs> but, um, it's 50, 59 degrees, 
So yeah, very comfortable, very warm, very easy to use. Love how soft this is. Um, let's see how well it goes in the bag. Um, I don't think I'll put it in this bag, but you, you definitely would have more than enough room to put it in there. I want to see how well it goes back into the All right, side. So let's give this a shot here. So the idea behind a stuff sack is you actually just shove it in there. You don't have to roll it up and everything, which is nice if uh, if you are in a hurry to get to your next location or whatever. It did not take long for this thing to uh, expand back out. that in there so I don't snag it on anything. So yeah, absolutely. Tighten it down anymore, put it on uh, your hiking bag. I think it's super light. So, yeah, if you guys uh, want to get the full product details on this, um, yeah, it's, oh, right-handed zipper also. And it comes in different colors, uh, which is quite nice. Um, take that sticker off. Yeah. So, um, here's some of the technical specs. So uh, the fabric is 400T nylon, the lining is 400T nylon, the size is 84.6 by 31.5 inches. Um, the filling is duck down, which is 2.2 pounds, uh, 620 FP, the total weight is 3.5 three four pounds or sorry three point four three pounds and the temperature rating is uh 10 degrees fahrenheit to uh, 41 degrees fahrenheit so yeah um awesome so follow the link in the description and uh order one it's perfectly balanced <laughs> so all right catch you guys next time uh, thanks for checking this out, and thanks for checking out my channel. This is Ryan with Ryan Outdoors.